Okay, let's let's see this. This is the code for writing in a file. Right? Let's start from here. I have declared a file descriptor number one, and then I have an, declared an array, uh, which is buff. And if you, if you see buff size here, actually I have defined a macro above here, so you can see this buff is actually a, a character array of 14 uh, length. Okay, let's see the main thing. Step number one is this. you have first have to open up a file. For writing, obviously, you just have to open up the file. So what was the first parameter? The first parameter was actually the path of the file. So I have just written the name of the file that I was creating, along with the extension. The second parameters were different flags. So these are different flags, right? Okay, what kind of flags are these? You can see O underscore create. What is this? O underscore create is actually a flag. It tells us. Uh, which actually tells this open function that if this file does not exist, does not already exist, then create it too. So we are just telling the, the kernel that if this file, unq.txt, this file is, is not existing already in this particular folder, create it for us. And if it exists, then just use the old one. All right. Um, this pipe operator is just concatenating two flags together. It's nothing else. Okay, let's see this one. This flag. What is this flag? It's O underscore only. W R O N L Y. W R only. W R only is for write only. Okay, so this flag is for write only. Okay, what is this right here? This is actually a permission flag. Permission. Uh, we also call it mode. It is a permission. What permission does it give? It gives permission to read and write in the file. Okay. Whenever we create a file, you know very well that in Linux we have permission issues. Whenever you create a file, you have to give it certain permissions. So if that file was not already existing and we created it, we have to assign some permissions to it too. And 0600 is the permissions for reading and writing. I hope you won't mind me helping you. Okay, moving on. Now we have to check whether that file opens successfully or not. So if this file descriptor equal equals to minus one, that means we have failed. There is some some issue, some something we have not done right, right? So, so there is some problem, and that file has failed to open or create. And we'll just exit. And if 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 it doesn't go here, then obviously we'll come to this line. Then there is step number two. What is step number two? We have to write in that file. And we just read the system call for write. We just read the prototype. The first parameter was fd, which was passed here. The second parameter was some string, which has to be written in the file. So it's not necessary that you, you just declare a string and then you fill it and then you write it here. You can write it here directly, like this, just in double quotes. That works too. So I have written hello world here. And then I have given it buff size of 14 and told it to write in the file. And then the third thing here is we have to close the file too. Why do we have to close the file? Because if we won't, there are, there are two problems. Number one is if we don't close the file, that file, whatever we wrote in it will not be saved. One thing. Second thing is if we didn't close the file, we have limited file descriptors available. Right? So if you open a large number of files and you don't close them after doing your work, then those file descriptors will be held till you shut down your PC. So resources will not be released, right? So that's why we do have to close. Okay, moving on. Let's see the reading part. This was this was the writing part. Now let's go to the reading part. 